couple of you guys have asked me about the spotlight here in the front of my boat. Uh, this is a, um, I purchased this from Larson Electronics, and here's your part number. Um, it's a great light. Um, this is a 36 watt, 200, 2,500 lumen uh, light. Um, what else? It was 900 bucks, so this was an upgrade. I actually purchased a $100 Go Light, um, and it worked okay, but it was only 1,000 lumens. Or I think it was 900 lumens. It just, it was not the best. This one actually is rated to do 900 feet, but it is a narrow beam. So this is not a wide beam. But what's cool about this is I actually had this installed. Um, bear with me here. There's a wake boat coming my way. So I'm probably gonna get some gnarly wake here in a little bit. Um, but I just had this installed. Uh, this is a two, uh, two pin uh, with a set screw. And you just got to make sure that the set screw is facing forward. There you go. And then it locks into place just by giving it a good twist. And so that's how it looks in the front. There's my boot. I just love this thing. Shameless plug. All right. So... To turn it on, um, come out here, and I do have it attached to this switch here. Um, that's how I that's how I turn it on, and then it has a. Hopefully, I, I had it sit. Uh, yeah, there we go. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can turn it. Now this is meant to be mounted, I believe, too, on top of a bimini. So if you have a hard top, uh, I know a lot of police search and rescue use this. Um, I can obviously turn it on and I can also articulate up and down. So I don't know if you can see this, but I'm also articulating the up and down feature as well. And so this is a cool light. Um, hopefully you guys can see it here at night. Um, um, but I, I don't know, I, I really like it. I've run really fast with this thing. Like I said, it is a narrow beam. So if you're used to just kind of flooding, um, this might not work for you. However, you can, um, this is a wireless remote. Uh, so this wireless remote here, I just used some Velcro and it's never come off. This is from the old Go Light. Uh, I, you might have seen it on a previous video. That one was okay, it was 150 bucks, but um, like I said, it was halogen based, not LED, and it only did around 900 lumens, and I thought that would be okay. So now I use this secondary go light. I use it back here on this plug, right there. And the other cool thing about this uh, go light is you can pair them. So you can um, also pair the light with other go lights. And I'll give you guys a quick shot of the remote here. I believe this is uh, home and that is one, two. So that's how you compare them. And then the little rabbit feature. I'm not sure, I've never actually used. Oh, the rabbit feature actually makes it go back to center automatically. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like when it gets a little darker. And hopefully the mosquitoes don't get me. I do live in Minnesota, it's a beautiful night. Maybe I'll give you guys a quick run through on the boat as well. All right, I'm gonna batten down the hatches here. So it's definitely a little darker. Um, it's probably, it seems a little lighter on the camera uh, than it is actually here. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and illuminate those cattails over there. As you can see, it is a narrow beam. I would say it's probably like, um, maybe 20 feet but I mean you could see shoot I wish I can get a clear shot of what I can see here I mean you could see them um, God, I wish it would focus but I mean I could see right through those dang things and as if you notice I'm actually driving parallel to them 
So that's an, another feature here that I like about this light is you can illuminate off to your right. So if you see, I'm scanning all of those cattails. This is what I like about um, duck hunting with this is that I'm able to scan the whole shoreline without necessarily going into them, I guess, like, you know, I can, I can parallel the shoreline as opposed to having to face your boat to it. So again, um, you can see that I am um, shining this light and it goes far. I mean, that is really freaking far. Those cattails probably seem close, but they're not very close. So, I don't know. I've been happy with this light. And like I said, the fact that you can articulate. I'm going to show you guys here um, on the front. I am able to basically scan left and right. And this is such a cool light. I mean, you guys can't see, but it's it's far. <laughs> so, anyways, definitely helps if you have two of these. Like I said, you can run them multiple, and they can be linked um, as well. So, um, let's see if I can get those cattails right behind me. You can see it's still shining those cattails, but it is a super freaking bright light. I'm able to hit all those trees and that entire shoreline over there. Again, the only thing is it is a narrow beam, something to get used to. So that it that is it. It is a stunning night. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Let's see if I could take this boat out for a little faster here. It's hard because I have my dog. If I didn't have my dog, you know, I just want to make sure that she's safe. But let's see if I can get her going. No.